Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I've had a few people inquire about um, the comparison between the Ender 3 V3KE that's just come out and the uh, K1. Now, I don't have a K1, but I have a K1 Max, and it's pretty much the same machine, just with a bigger build plate. So I've done a two of these tests, one on each um, machine. I've labeled the bottom of them so we know which one they are. I'll go through and compare and see how they went and uh, what time it took for each one to do them. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, so I've got the two tests here. Um, they both look fairly similar, but we'll have a closer look at them. Now, I do will say um, I put them on the same, exactly the same time. I sliced them on exactly the same slicer, so they're both sliced on Creative Print um, and um, sent off within about 10, 15 seconds of each other. So slice one, send it off, slice the other, send it straight off as well. The KE I sent before the um, K1 Max, but um, the KE took two hours, 12 minutes and nine seconds to print, and the K1 took one hour, 40 minutes and 16 seconds to print. So it's 30 minutes difference. So let's see if it made a difference to the quality, the speed. Let's pop over to our yeah. Okay, guys, so let's have a look at the first one here. Now, this is the KE one. So if you have a look at the detail of it, you'll see that the text isn't fantastic. I mean, it did an all right job. The really small stuff you didn't get in, but keep in mind I'm using a 0.4 nozzle, not a 0.2 or like that. So um, I'm not expecting the real fine stuff to come out. If you turn around to the front, you will see the... Um, I do see a few little lines in here. It didn't quite, it's not quite going properly. And then when we go up the overhang, you will see that it's a bit rough around, around here as well. And underneath the overhang, it's done a pretty good job actually. I can see overhang. Uh, let me get the camera in there. Okay, well, you, well, it started to sort of stuff up at around about the underneath, at about the 70, 70 degree mark. Okay, so if we have a look at the K1 Max, exactly the same one, you will see that we still get a few lines here. Now, I'm using the default settings on both printers. Um, so I haven't changed anything in any of them. And you'll see that it's a bit, little bit nicer up on the curve coming up to the front. I think the front is a lot cleaner. Um, it started to muck up underneath though a bit sooner. So it mucked up on the, the 60 meter, a 60% mark, or degree mark, I should say. So you've got a 10 degree difference in the uh, muck up of the curve. So the underneath curve does come out better on the KE. Now, if you have a look at the um, bridging, you can see underneath the bridging there, bridging is really nice. Bridged all of those really nice. I can't see any droops or string or anything there, so it's come out really nice in the bridging here. Okay, and that's on the KE, or the K1, sorry. This is the KE. So if we have a bit of same little look, see. And we'll have a look down, and it is perfect as well. So it's come out really nice on both machines. You see that I can't see any um, any drooping or anything there. So that's come out really, really nice. Now the pedicle here, it did print the third one, but I knocked it off on both of them. My accident, it's a, they're pretty pretty flimsy if you just knock them with a tiny bit of force. Same thing on the and the, K, the K1. And then we've got the, um, the holes. Now they all measure nicely, as does the KE one, so the accuracy is pretty good there. Um, and yeah, the, um, they come out really nice, both of them. So I'd be impressed with both of them. Now, the, don't forget the, um, get back under here, the difference in the Printer speed is 30 minutes difference to print exactly the same uh, program on exactly the same slicer, and I used exactly the same filament. So it was PLA matte filament on both printers, 
from the same manufacturer. I use um, Sunlu um, PLA mat on both printers just because I only had two rolls of that. I didn't have two rolls of any else. Um, so there you go. Um, they both do a really good job. Um, so I would say, looking at both of them, the text is a little bit nice on this one, the KE, and uh, it done, did a little bit better job on the overhangs. The bridging is exactly the same. Um, everything else is about the same now. So I'd be really pleased with both of them. Um, if uh, I had to choose, it would be really hard, but probably the KE just by the tiniest margin probably produces a tiny bit of better print for the overhangs, okay? But not so much for the outside surface. The outside surface, I would say the, yeah, the, the K1 produces a smoother surface and the numbers on the K1 on the, um, on the overhangs are a bit clearer. So for the outside, K1 wins. For the um, underside of the overhangs, the KE wins. Um, but to be honest with you, if I'm looking at something, I'm probably looking more on the outside. So it's really close. The laddering on the KE is a little bit better than on the K1. But yeah, so um, one thing, guys, like and subscribe. <laughs> really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Um, it really does help me out. Um, I pay for everything myself. So um, I don't get gifted anything. <laughs> It's just all, I have to pay for everything. Um, but I'm happy to do it because it keeps me occupied. Um, I hope it helped, guys. And for those that asked, I hope it answered your questions. So the comparison to the, um, on the default settings, using the same filament and the same slicer, um, they sort of easily each other out. The K, the K1 a bit nicer on the outside surfaces, the KE a bit nicer on the inside curves. Um, and on the really tiny text, the K is a little bit better. Um, but overall, it's pretty much a draw, except for the fact that the K1 produced it half an hour quicker. Okay, guys, I will see you next week for another video. Um, have a nice week, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. Okay, guys, on a little side note, if you notice the difference in the video quality, um, I am using the new Osmo Pocket 3 to camera to record, and I'm using the DJI Mic 2 to record the audio, which should have leveled out um, some of the volume a bit better. And the Osmo Pocket 3 is also from DJI. Um, the brand new products out on the market, so hopefully this video came out nicely for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these videos. Um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys, bye.